Well, I feel like when things are decentralized, they become better, you know, because it, it takes the cost down, it takes away the monopolies, you know, it allows more creative freedom, and, and uh, it also allows better ideas because now people's ideas aren't being blocked. You, know, you used to have to know so many people to get your idea out there, and then if, if somebody didn't want you to have your idea out, you just, it, would, it would never surface, you know. There's very much two tiers that I'm always dealing with in the filmmaking world. There's very much the independent world that is people very much just taking their cameras and doing stuff on their own. Yeah. And those tend to do film festival work and they get seen on YouTube, stuff like that, as, as a distribution channel. But there is still the other tier, which is admittedly where most of my career is, yeah. um, which is the major distribution outlets, the yeah. Lionsgates, the, at the time Miramaxes and Dimension Films and and all of those, um, those are, are a different level. The big and, studios. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and I, I was joking with my friends the other day, it's like, I, I kinda wanna do more of the independent stuff, I'd like to yeah. do more of that, that quirky, just get your camera and go, and I just can't seem to get into that. It's like I can't break into amateur filmmaking, I can only seem to work <laughs> in, in this level, but I'm, I'm serious about this, it's like I've had like zero yeah. success trying to get into. I need to talk to that. you after this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just can't get into that other level. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I like, I appreciate both, you know, because the studios definitely create some amazing stuff, and, you know, some of my favorite films are studio films. Like, my favorite film of all time is E.T., because I was, Aww. it's the first film I remember, you know, I was three years old with my parents at the drive-in theater. You know, it's just a really special movie. That's sweet. I would not you have pe pegged you for a, an E.T. guy. <laughs> I, I love have e. pegged you for that. Well, I love science fiction, you mm -hmm. know, but, but that was, like, the one that really got me, you know. And then, um, but I really enjoy horror films and stuff like that too. And a lot of your best horror films are indie films. And, uh, and, and there's also a lot of really good independent films today because it's so much cheaper to produce films than there used to be. I mean, you, you can't tell, but you know, some of the independent films are so well made that you can't tell they weren't produced by a big studio, but they just had a fraction of the budget. You know. Yeah, I, I think we're still, the main cost of making a professional movie is still paying the people. And there's right. a minimum yeah. amount you want to pay people, um, you know. And then there, I mean, in a professional level, yes. if you're doing a SAG movie, and you hit a certain level, and mm -hmm. that hasn't changed. You can do more with that money, thanks to technology and effects and stuff like this. Yes. But it comes back to what we were talking about before: your costs are still your per minute on set, that comes down to people costs. Yeah. Um, so yeah, things have gotten cheaper and cheaper, but you're still kind of, that's, that's the level. The digital helps a lot, but you've still got the people factor. Yeah, it depends on who you cast for the film, for sure, you know, but, but I, I, one thing I like about indie films, too, is the scripts are more the original idea of the writer. You know, it's not as, it's not as uh, PC or, or it, it doesn't evolve as much through the studio because you have studio executives that say, oh, I think this should actually be this way, and they'll, you know, get a different writer to come in and change it and then there'll be multiple writers and then, and then the story is not what it originally was yeah you sometimes know. i mean again and even in the in the you know studio picture world there's the a studio pictures your avengers movies your you know hundred thousand dollar things right and then i tend to work down at the one to eight million dollar range films okay and those are still where we thrive on inventive scripts creative ideas you know, we're not competing with the Avengers. Right. We're yeah. competing on having a fresh idea. And yeah. there is always a market for a fresh idea. If you've got a fresh take on something that's truly new yet familiar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's the thing is like we, we all joke about the Hollywood pitch where it's like, well, it's like, you know, die hard on a submarine. It's like, you know, it's this meets this, something like that. And um you want it to be familiar enough that someone can kind of see what it could be yeah, yeah. before it exists, yeah. but a fresh take on it that someone hadn't seen so they can see how it can be different. Um, yeah. So yeah, if you've got a fresh idea and a fresh take on something, we're always looking to, to make those and fund those. That's, that's where I, I like a lot of those films that I think those are sometimes more interesting. You know, that's, I have a screenplay right now that that's, that's where I want it to be. Well, that's where I want it to end up, you know, in that, that range. Um, I, there's a, another actor in Atlanta, and he's a decent name actor, <coughs> and he, he wants to work on it with me, so I'm going to go through a rewrite with him 
and maybe I'll reach out to you. Happy to talk to you about it. Yeah.